hello yeah welcome back to my channel today we have an amazing question to solve this is a rectangle not drawn to scale please we are asked to find the area of this portion if the area of this is 12 the area of that is 24 this is 18 and this is 9 okay and this is 42 sorry forgot to write that this is 42. So we're asked to find the area of this portion. First of all, we are going to start from trying to figure out how to form equations that will help us get to this, okay? Now, the advantage we have here is that some of them share the same base, okay? Or you can say the same breadth, and some of them share equal heights, okay? All right, now let's get to the point. First of all, let's call this place. Let's call this X. Then let's call this Y. Okay? So now we are at this particular one for its um, area. So the area is 12. Remember that area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. Okay? We give us area of a rectangle. Okay, so that means that for area of this being 12, 12 is equal to y multiplied by x. All right, now let's call this equation 1. Okay, similarly, like I said, notice that this particular portion and this portion that they share the same length, the same breadth, okay? So that means that here is also equal to x. That means here is also x. Well, we don't know here, right? So let's call this place A. So if we call that part of the rectangle A, that means that for rectangle with area of 24, we can say that 24 is equal to a multiplied by x all right and this is equation two please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing channel yeah so that you don't miss our videos so that whenever we upload you'll be notified as well okay give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing thank you very much always check on us yes anytime you are free there must be something new for you to watch by grace of god okay thank you very much now looking at what we have here Looking at what we have, we can say that from here, you can see that we introduced a new variable, which will make it difficult for us to actually solve this, right? Because if you are looking at two equations, then we should be using or expecting two variables at most. So what do we do? Now, let us express from equation one, let's express x in terms of y. Okay, then substitute here to see if we can get A in terms of Y as well. Okay, so from equation 1, from equation 1, we have that 12 equals XY. So that means that X will be equal to 12 divided by Y. Okay, now let's call this equation 3. So we are going to substitute this this one into equation two. So substitute three into two. So if we do that, we have, we are substituting three into two, okay? So we'll have 24 is equal to A multiplied by our X, now will be 12 over Y, okay? So we have 24 is equal to 12a divided by y. So if we cross multiply, if we cross multiply, we are going to have 24 over 1 equals 12a over y. Then cross multiply, we have 24 times y, which is 24y, is equal to 12a times 1, which is still 12a. Now, Let's divide both sides by 12. Dividing both sides by 12, we will have 
24y divided by 12 is equal to 12a divided by 12. So this we divide this, we have 2y is equal to a. Now you see that we can replace a with 2y, meaning that we don't have much variable again to solve it. So now we have 2y here. Amazing. Now, permit me to claim this because at this point we don't need them. Yeah. Okay, now let's continue our hunt for the breadth and the height of this triangle. Oh, sorry, this rectangle. All right, you can see that from here to here is equal to from here to here. So that means that this place is also Y. All right. Okay, now you can see that this place, this particular rectangle share the same breadth with this. See, notice also that this is half of this. So if they share the same breadth, then their area should be what? This, the, their area should be expressed in ratios. If this is half of this, then the length or the breadth, sorry, is going to be what? Half of Y. So we have half of Y here as the breadth as well. Okay. Now, did you notice anything? That from here to here is equal to from here to here, which is equal to from here to here. So that means that for us to get the height of the unknown rectangle, we are going to add half y to y. Okay? So we have half y plus y. Okay? And this is equal to half times y should be y over 2 plus y. Okay? So if we solve this, we are going to have the LCM is 2, right? When to divide 2, we have 1. 1 times y is y plus. When 1 divides 2, we have 2. 2 times y is 2y. So we have 3y over 2. Okay? So write it in as the length of the unknown triangle. All right. Now, how do we get the breadth? How do we get the breadth? This is actually not easy, but let's focus on trying to see the length of this place. Okay, let's see the breadth first. So remember that from here to here should be equal to from here to here. So as a result, from here to here should be equal to 2y plus y, which is 3y. So to get the unknown part, let's call the unknown part s. So to get s, s will be equal to 2y plus y, which is 3y, minus 3y over 2. 3y over 2. Okay. <laughs> now, we go ahead to solve. Our S will be equal to, the LCM is what? 2. When 1 divides 2, we have 2. 2 times 3y is 6y. Minus. When 2 divides 2, we have 1. 1 times 3y is 3y. So our s is equal to 6y minus 3y is 3y. So we have 3y divided by 2. So we can write here as 3y divided by 2. Now I want you to notice something. Okay? If from here to here is equal to from here to here, all right, you will notice that from here to here, all right, sorry, from here to here is equal to from here to here, right? Okay, and from here to here is equal to from here to here. So it means that the whole of this, the area of this place should be equal to the area of this whole portion, everything here. Do you understand? Okay, so this simply implies that we can write that 9 plus 18 plus the unknown, okay, should be equal to 42. Yes. Okay. Now, 18 plus 9 is 27 plus the unknown is equal to 42. So, we subtract 27 from both sides. So, we have that the unknown is equal to, now, when 12 minus 7, we are going to have um, 5, right? 
Yeah, five. Then we bring down one, and that is the answer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.